Now, Kenya's top three political players have called for an end to high voltage politics on the 2022 State House Succession Power Games and focus on resolving long standing national challenges. President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy, William Ruto, and ODM leader Raila Odinga have urged Kenyans to instead prioritize the building of a cohesive, all inclusive nation. Francis Gashuri reports on the utterances that sought to quiet the storm. The deputy president and ODM leader shared a podium in Kisumu during the installation of Philip Agnolo. <laughs> as Archbishop of Kisumu Catholic at Diocese and head of the expansive Kisumu Metropolis. Their meeting coming on the backdrop of high-voltage politics that played out this week on the 2022 State House Succession Scramble and Ruto's perceived indifference to the March 9, 2018 handshake between President Uhuru Kenyatta and the ODM boss, the duo calling for an end to political animosity. Sisi wote tumekubaliana sasa siasa ya chuki migawanyiko na ukabila tumewacha nyuma sisi wote sasa tumekubaliana ya kwamba tutashughulika sisi wote kujenga daraja ya urafiki now than ever before this country needs the services of the church nataka tuungane pamoja tukielekea mbele Political pundits have predicted a two-horse race in the 2022 presidential contest, pitting Ruto against Odinga, or his preferred candidate, should he opt to stay away from the ballot. But the two leaders want Kenyans to focus on building bridges efforts and the search for solutions to long-standing national issues. Now we have proper political hygiene in Kenya. With this good hygiene, I want to urge Kenyans and the church to play your usual unifying and guiding role as part of the constructs of social justice. As leaders, time for excuses and time for scapegoats is gone. We now must focus on ensuring that we deliver on the big four, we give employment opportunity to our young people, we give opportunity to women, we transform our country and we make sure that we are all moving together. But on the fight against corruption, Odinga fired subtle salvos directed at Ruto and the frequency of fundraisers he attends, donating huge sums of money. Kanisa pigani na ofisadi na isikubali kuchukua pesa ya ofisadi katika kanisa. Kanisa kanisa ifundishe uvijani watoto wetu Na watu wetu wote maadili na na muhimu ya kuhishi kwa njia wa haki. While Odinga and Ruto shared a podium in Kisumu, President Kenyatta was in Karen, Nairobi, attending a wedding ceremony between James Bukusi and Makena Kiraitu, who is Meru Governor Kiraitu Murungi's daughter, Kenyatta urging the youth to shun tribalism and be the foundation on which a united nation will be anchored. And I think this generation is doing a tremendous, tremendous thing. Because they don't see barriers amongst them. They see the person that they went to school with, the person that they work with. That's who they respect. That's who they fall in love with. That's who they marry. Nanini, you be the base for it. Forget us politicians and our stupidity. Yeah? You look at yourselves, grow amongst yourselves, get friends amongst yourselves. And in Garissa County, National Assembly Majority Leader Aden Duale defended Kenyatta against allegations of bias in the sharing of development projects. 
So do not reduce the president of the Republic of Kenya to, a, to your village, to your tribe, to your corner. That is not what Jubilee as a party stands for. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV.